Okay, so we have this problem, and it's about a helicopter rising um, vertically. And take a moment to read the question. And while you're reading the question, I'm going to draw a diagram to illustrate what's going on in this problem. So we have a helicopter that is 500 meters away from you, and so the helicopter is here. You're here, okay? And it's about to ascend going up okay and uh, it is going up for five seconds so we think about this five seconds how many meters has it gone up so it's very easy we know that speed is equal to distance over time so the distance that it has gone up it's simply uh, speed times time which is going to be 15 times 5 that it's going to be 75 meters Okay, so we can go ahead and label this as 75 meters. Okay, let me add a unit right here. So the question asks in part A, what is the rate of change of this distance between you and the helicopter after five seconds? So now, uh, so the distance between you and the helicopter is going, is going from here, 500 meters originally, and it's going to go up and the distance will increase as the helicopter uh, goes up and what is the distance at this moment so we can simply use Pythagorean theorem and let me go ahead and label this diagram more specifically so that we can come up with the Pythagorean theorem and calculate the distance here let's say this horizontal distance is x and the vertical distance here is y and let me go ahead and label this as l so L square is equal to X square plus Y square. And if you can put in numbers here and go ahead and calculate, L is equal to 505.6. So 505.6 meters. All right. So the rate of change of the distance, okay, so the distance here, it is L. So we're asking for what is dl dt. Now what other information is given here? Well, we know that the, uh, the speed of the helicopter going vertically, it's 15 meters per second. So we can go ahead and say dy dt, it's equal to 15 meters per second. Okay, And we can go ahead and uh, use this Pythagorean theorem to analyze the change of the distance between you and the, cap and the helicopter after five seconds when it is 75 meters above the ground. So L squared is equal to X squared plus Y squared. And we have to ask ourselves a question. Over uh, So in these three variables, L, X, and Y, what is changing and what is not changing well, as the uh, helicopter is going up, L is definitely changing. Okay, the distance between you and the calculator uh, and the helicopter, not calculator, uh, it's going to go. Uh, it's going to increase, and the distance Y it's uh, going to increase as well. But the distance, uh, the horizontal distance between you and the helicopter, it's going to maintain as 500 meters. So uh, this number, it's not a uh, changing number it's going to stay constant so we can go ahead and say 500 meters uh, square right here and since others are changing as the helicopter goes up we're going to make this uh, keep them as L and Y now we will go ahead and differentiate this equation so with implicit differentiation we know that L square is equal to 2L times using chain rule dl dt okay and uh, 500 square is just a number and when we differentiate it it will become zero plus y square again we use uh, implicit differ uh, differentiation again so y square is equal to 2y times dy dt now we have l we have calculated l uh, we are trying to find out what dl dt is, and we do have dy dt, which is 15 meters per second. Uh, we know y as well, it's 75 meters. 
So before we go ahead and plug in numbers to calculate, just want to point out that uh, the challenge of this problem is that some of the information is not directly given from the question, such as the 75 meters. You need this information, but you have to find it by making use of the five seconds. So in order to, in order to know this, uh, what we need to do is to understand what equation that we are using. If you know that it is a Pythagorean theorem, the equation that we're going to use, we will need the height. And that's why we know that we will need to utilize the five seconds to calculate this height. Okay, and also uh, we need to know the distance at the moment where it is 75 meters above the ground. And that's why we use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the distance between you and the helicopter. So the remaining process is very simple. Okay, we just go ahead and plug in numbers. The LDT and zero, just go away. So two y y is seventy five. The y dt is fifteen. And if you calculate it correctly, the LDT it's going to be two point two two five. And I'm going to round it up to two point two three. And the unit for this uh, for this uh, part of the uh, for this answer, it's going to be two point two two point two three meters per second okay so that's how fast it is uh, so that's the distance change the rate of change of the distance between you and the helicopter right after uh, right at five seconds after it has uh, taken off now let's go ahead and focus on part B what is the rate of change of elevate uh, of uh, the angle of elevation after five seconds Assuming that you are looking at the helicopter right at the ground level, so your eye is right here, okay, to make the problem easier to understand. And let's go ahead and label this angle theta, okay. And then what we will do is to come up with uh, an equation to relate this theta. And now we have this, and we have the, uh, uh, the height and the horizontal distance. So we can go ahead and use tangent right here. Okay. All right. Now, uh, now the reason why I'm writing this is because we would like to know what the theta is. So if you use the inverse tangent, you will go. You will find out that the theta is at eight point five three degrees. As we have said earlier. Uh, the vertical distance is changing. Okay, so when we come up, when we use the equation for our later differentiation, we should write this instead over 500. Again, we use 500 here instead of using x, is because this distance is going to remain the same throughout the entire process. So we can go ahead and differentiate this, and tangent theta, the derivative of tangent theta is secant square theta and uh, we will use implicit differentiation because theta is a function of time so we will have d theta dt over here okay and uh, we can take away we can take the uh, the coefficient uh, right up front which is one over 100 and when we differentiate y it is going to be one and using chain rule implicit differentiation it will have d y dt, okay, 1 times dy dt. We have theta, we have dy dt from above, 15 meters per second, okay, and we can go ahead and put in numbers. Uh, the numbers right here, it's going to be uh, 8.53, apologize for the mess over here, d theta dt, 1 over 500, and dy dt is going to be 15. Now, another challenge that some of you may encounter is how do we calculate secant square of 8.53 degrees? Because there's not like a secant square or secant button on the uh, on the calculator. So my suggestion is to understand what secant square uh, is. So secant secant square theta is simply 1 over cosine theta square. So we can make use of this uh, understanding over here. So 1 over 
cosine 8.53 okay degrees and this whole thing is being squared and then we have d theta dt 15 over 500 so if we go if we go ahead and calculate so 15 divided by 500 okay that's 0 0.03 and then 1 over cosine 8.53 degrees square that's going to be 1.022 okay and then we can go ahead and calculate the theta dt and the calculated answer is 0 0.029 degrees so the angle is changing, uh, and this is degrees per second. Okay, the, the angle is changing slowly. So when we look at part B of this problem, the first thing that you have to know is what is the uh, what is the relationship that can relate the angle and the sides that are given. So tangent would seem to be a, a very good choice, and make sure that you know how to calculate secant square theta. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, then we can use this uh, identity to uh, put your understanding in use over here and you can just solve it algebraically.